All right, guys, we're gonna check out the absolute minimalist kit for long range shooting, okay? Now, for like years, like over 15 years uh, of doing it, this is basically what I take a field, you know, minus a couple extra things in your pockets, canteen, multi-tool, stuff like that. Um, maybe a, a cigarette lighter in one pocket. You always gotta have your knife in your pocket as well. But in terms of the long range kit, you can fit everything you need in a little bag like this, okay? And for years I used an old, I think it was an East German gas mask pouch. Uh, this is a lot better, and I'll show you that in a second. And I'll show you what I got in here. Now this is probably, in all honesty, after all the different videos I've done, this is old reliable right here. This is old Betsy, if you want to call it that, or I don't know if you name your rifles. I call it old Ruger M77, because <laughs> I'm not super creative on that deal. Um, I guess I was married before I got married to this thing. Actually, I had this before I had you, didn't I? Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry to say that. I've, yeah, I've actually known this rifle longer than I've known my wife. <laughs> but it's a M77 Ruger VT 243. Um, it's got a lot of rounds on it, way more than it should. And it actually still shoots pretty darn good. Now, I've memorized the dope on this load. It's 105 grain Amax, the old Amax. They fly stupidly well, even though the tips do deform a little bit. Um, you can adjust for that if you collect your data in an empirical way. Uh, and I'm actually running the Zeiss V6 on here. I used to have the SWF on here for a bunch of years, but uh, this is the V6, and this has minute of angle turrets. And the reason I have that is because I memorized all my dope on here for years and years and years and years using minute of angle turrets. And so in my sleep, I can tell you that at 70 degrees, you know, uh, at uh, 5,500 feet, my dope at 1,000 is 27.7 minutes of angle, right? So I can, I can remember stuff like that. So I, I go with what I know, right? Here's the old rifle. So number one, you need a good rifle, like I said in the last video. You need a good optic, something sound that's going to track. A bipod with a little bit of a can. This is a Harris S series, um, 9 to 13, you know, inch bipod. So you have a bit of a adjustability there, right? And then besides that, you need your rest of your stuff, right? Now you can carry five rounds in the rifle. Now we'll move this back here a little bit so you can see the bag. And this is a cool bag. This is by Sojourn Gear. And it's like perfect for a grab and go kind of setup deal that you're gonna just have your essentials. Now dig this guys. Now the kit has evolved over the years because there's there's stuff that's better. I got a little mud on here. We just reviewed these lately. This is the Sig Sauer, I think the Kilo 3000, range finding binoculars. I have my binoculars here. I also have ballistic support in here. If I'm running my 7-1 Fortrex, which I got in here too. And I got a good 4,000 yards of ranging, maybe farther, maybe 5,000 if I got a good reflective target. I'm gonna see farther than I can shoot by a long shot on this rifle in any condition, no problem. Plus I got really good glass. So there's my binoculars. This is something I'm gonna show you guys after a little while. I used to use just a sock filled with dirt. <laughs> For years I did. I didn't know people made these things, right? And out of all the people that did make them, they were kind of built from more of a, a maybe a range angle or a competitive shooting angle. This is built for like a field guy. This is lightweight and simple. There's nothing extra on here you don't need and it's done in a pattern that I like. So here's my toe support right here, boom, done. You gotta have your toe support. That's like very important in my opinion, okay? And right here, you gotta have your notebook, okay? And I got all my analog tables, my uh, primary functions, se secondary functions, area maps, my different range cards, etc. Standard tempers, you know, all, all the stuff that we show in the 101 series, okay? So I have my analog range cards here in case my fancy stuff goes down. I have my applied ballistics, Kestrel, okay? This is my favorite one. I do like AB, they do a good job. You can adjust um, the drag curve. You can custom modify that in here to match reality. Um, and this is what I get my meteorologicals with now. Used to use all analog stuff up until they really perfected it. It's very reliable now. Um, the 701 Fortrex GPS. I used to carry a GPS Garmin Map 60, but it didn't have ballistics in it. This little guy, you wear on your wrist, it makes you look like a convicted felon 
with a tracking deal on. If you go to buy like beer at the store, they might try to kick you out of there if you're wearing your ballistic computer because they think you're a convict. But uh, it's a GPS with, uh, it has all your, your jump master stuff on here if you're gonna jump out of airplanes and it also has your ballistics in here and it displays it in a very good way. So we got the 714 Trex. Complete digital and analog ballistics here. All the stuff you would need to be able to hit stuff. Plus what you got in your brain, which is your primary system, right? On top of that, if that stuff gets squirrely and I need to, this is better than a kelk form. Uh, this is faster, this is the whiz wheel by Applied Ballistics. This is set up specifically for this rifle in my exact loads. And those loads, I know exactly what's going on. It's an analog, not a slide rule, but kind of a wheel rule slide. It's like an analog slide rule calculator type deal. And you can adjust all your stuff on here. This will give you your ballistics as well. Pretty darn slick. And I think you can get this from Accuracy First. Yeah, it says Accuracy First. You can like it where it says, I don't know if you can read that number on the bottom. Pretty darn slick system. So I always keep that in there. And look, it fits in the side pouch here. So it's like all that stuff I just pulled out ain't taking up no space. And it's not getting destroyed by the rest. So I got that. Now they make smaller ones. TI-81. You can get a TI-30 work just fine. You can actually program these to do all the ballistics too. Did you know that? If you're smart. I did that when I was a schoolboy. And then I have enough ammo to win. And here's the old venerable. There's probably like nine rounds on that piece of brass. <laughs> nine shots. There's my little Amax is 43.1 grains of Reloader 19. CCI standard primer, 105 grain AMAX. And um, if I told you how good these things shoot, you would think I'm lying. Because, yeah, you would, you would think I am a lying SOB, so I will not even say. But look at how it stacks in here, it's pretty slick. So I just stack my ammo in here. This bag's like perfectly suited. Now it's a little rattly. If I'm going to field, I usually ram like a sock in here or something or some foam, whatever you got, just fold the sock in half a few times. It takes all the rattle out of your ammo. Right now, I'm not on sneaky mode. Plus, you can get these in green, guys. You can get them in my combat green modes. So you're sneaky or rattle cannon or whatever, right? And they got my ballistic support. Goes in the zipper deal here, right? We'll go ahead and see, and I got my calculator. They go in here as well. And I can zip that up. Now the zippers on here, I like it because it's built good. And this ain't stuff, it's, it's done very well. And then I got my toe support here. And then this stuff can kind of be in here, okay? And then I got these bad boys right in here. And if I could fit another small item in here, It'd be either a pair of pruning shears. You know, you got them branches sometimes in the way if you're trying to shoot through a little hole that you've cut, you know, you can snip a branch off here and there or uh, a small gardening shovel so you can kind of dig a hasty little position. And that's what I carry. My straps here and I usually just throw it on like so, grab the rifle, done. Like. Doesn't weigh a lot, not a lot of extra crap that you don't need. So that's your bare minimum. This is this will get you out in the field, going to work, no problems. And the outfit that makes that bag is right here. And you can look them up right there. Nice little bags. Check it out, guys. Wanted to show you. I know we kind of had a rant the other day about mindset and training attitude, but here's the specifics on the bare minimal equipment you would need if you're gonna just run around up in the mountains all day and try to hit stuff at long range. Catch you on the next one.